What's up guys, this is Money 107 and we are going to get started on Chroma Squad. So it looks like we have started our own studio and we are going to need to buy some things. But first let's see what meshes we have. So props and etc. Says, hello, hello, how are you all doing? My name is Hermes Barreto. I am a master of crafting props for movies and TV. Some of my wares even have special bonuses. Make sure to visit my shop by clicking on the bottom up on the left. Have fun! Okay, thank you for the letter, sir. And it looks like, and here are the episode finances. So the initial bout is $1,000. The actor salaries is, is $150. And money per $100. 100 audience is $25. Okay, so I'm going to head to the studio to upgrade it. So, healthcare bronze. All, all actors get 10 plus 10% health. So, it costs $150. And it's fifty dollars. I mean, and it's twenty-five dollars per episode. Okay, SD camera plus ten percent audience gain from director's instructions. It costs one hundred dollars, and after that's fifty. And after every episode, after every episode, it's fifteen dollars. Workbench is is plus twenty-five crap. Crafty rate cost four hundred dollars each. A microphone plus ten audience gain for combat and skills. That's that's seventy five dollars and ten dollars every episode. And shop partnership. Uh. So right now I'm just going to buy the the um, SD camera. The microphone. Let's see what else. Yarn Figure Studio. I'll probably buy that later. Alright. That seems about it. And now I am going to shop for my characters. So the boots are about $50. And they raise my raise um this guy's health up to fifteen. I'm um, up by fifteen. I mean, so I am going to buy that for him. And here are the gloves, which is plus ten plus ten attack. And there's the padded suit and the comfy suit. So, so for um, the padded suit is t plus 25 health and plus six skill regen. For comfy suit, it's plus 40 health. So I'm going to buy the padded suit, even though it has less HP. And looks like there's some weapons. So, looks like there's the toy sword and the toy pistol. So it looks like he already has the toy, to the toy sword. So let's move move on over to Flash, Flashy, so, and and let's buy him the same things. Even though his skill regen will go down, his attack and weapon will go up. I don't, I don't mind. Okay. I 
wonder if I'll be able to have... I don't think I'll be able to have enough. But I just do whatever I can. Okay, I'm going to buy the, buy the gloves and the boots for um, Lee. And I'm going to use, I'm just going to buy the boots for um, Beeves. Okay, this is, this will probably be it for now. Okay, folks, let's get the show on the road. Let's choose the episode to be recorded. So right now we will have... Oop. My controller fell down, but I'm using the mouse. My mistake. Okay, so our first episode will be the pilot episode. Looks like we're going to fight... A guy, a boxing guy, in the, that's basically a box. Well, we all have our starts, and it looks like the conditions are: you have to perform three team acrobatics and keep all actors above 50% health. Season one, episode one. Wow, our first episode. That's awesome! What if our first story was about a group of monsters that tried to rob a science lab? And then I beat up dozens of them. Yeah, great. But hold on. We should add a narrator. Don't start the action yet. Once upon a time. Wait. Once up. Wait. Once up time. A group of heroes is born. What do you think, Simon? I heard that good plot starts like that. It's good, but it's spelled wrong. Isn't it? Once up time? Oh, the guy who sold us the narrator software told me it's one of, the, one of its quirks. We should just roll with it. These powerful teenagers are the last hope of humanity. And our first task is to defend a science staff from an evil monster. Hmm, but aren't the minions kind of late? Where do they go, Jet? I don't know, Simon. They should hurry. What do you say, Beeves? They must be getting dressed. Don't worry. Let's just have fun with our job, with our new job. All right, here they come. We'll have lots of editing to do later, Flashy. Action! Noisy noises. So it looks like we got some badass squirrels that want to fight us. Hey, you all. Get ready for some action. Okay. All right then. So I'm going to get this started. Ow. Okay, that's one of the team acrobatics. Oh, snap. Oh, so far so good. All right then. At least I performed three of the acrobatics. Ow. Dang it. I need to keep Beeb's health up above 50%. Well, it's going to be well, I'm going to chromatize, folks. This is it. The transforming sequence. 
Lights, camera, chromatize. All right. Now let's kick some squirrel tail. One squirrel. That's one squirrel down. Next time, don't be evil. That's telling them, Simon. Hmm. Well, I guess I can send Beavs over there. And I consider it strange that he's able to keep a humanoid form for some reason. All right then. All right, Jet. Now I got some Play-Doh, which I consider strange. All right, Flashy, let's go. And I keep, kept all actives above 50% health. After defeating the powerful aliens, while the squad was planning what to do next, something devious appears. That's an amazing entrance, Transomancer. This will be great. Keep it up. Chroma Squad, why do you have to mess up our visit to the science lab? You will face the consequences. But not right now. I'll come for you later. What were you doing in that lab? It's none of your business. Wow. Who's that traffic light guy? And where did he go? Wait. Lee. Are you acting or are you really lost right now? Of course. I'm, oh, come on, Jet. I'm acting. Go on with the story. Er, okay, well, I don't know, Lee. Lee, and I can't track it with my scanner. That monster, that monster may strike again any minute now. Cerebro might have something to say. You're right, Beavs. We should go see Cerebro. Chroma Squad heads to Cerebro's cham chambers. <clears throat> they reach the place with glorious teleport effect. Wow, Flashy. I didn't expect that you could render such a cool background with a chroma key. Me neither. This looks much better than wh the one I did. Better for us, huh? I'm getting the feeling that this is going to be more real than they realize. After everyone explains the situation to Cerebro. Why do they want the research that research lab so badly, Cerebro? They believe it is the key for them to unlock the power of time travel. This is not a power that anyone should have. Now, return to your previous location. I'm detecting a new threat. It's impressive to see the Cerebro device working. Yeah, impressive. Chroma Squad heads back. The teleport effect is not ready yet. To the scene, running. Where are the monsters? Can't wait to use my special poses. There's the box guy. I'm late. How deep are we into the episode? Deep enough. You are so late, boxing box. This won't happen again. I'm sorry. Back to our lines then. 
I'm turning you into cardboard! Oh, wait. Don't get me wrong, Lee. I'm cardboard. Minions, join me! I gotta be consist more consistent with the voices here. Ready to serve, boss! Watch out! Okay, I need to defeat Boss Monster with a finishing move and defeat all minions before attacking the Boss Monster. Alright then. Ah, oh, great, he died. Alright. One down. Ha! Couldn't hit me with that counter. Please. Although it's such that we can't that even though we have we can have extra moves and whatnot, we can't be able to um you know move for move forward another time and then attack. Gotta wait for your turn, Mr. Mr. Box Guy. I got some more cotton. Aw, oh, come on, man. Why do you gotta be like that? Really? Well, at least I got a counter for that. Super Punch! Ouch. That really gotta hurt. Stunning Pose. Stun adjacent minions and daze adjacent bosses. I'll just save it in a bit. Oh, come on, man. Why you gotta be like that? that? Maybe I should use the Hill Doken on him. Hill Doken! Well, at least he's back to normal and healed up. Although I would need to um deal some cool time with it. Deal with some cool time for that move. Okay. Now, teamwork. Oh, snap! I need... I need to move away from this guy. Ah, uh, I forgot. Well, at least I can use my sword on him. That's, wait, that's the sign that says finish it. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I need to be adjacent to him. That's that's probably it.
That's, I hope this works. Chroma power! This is it! I think I got this down. Woo! I did it! I, I, I did... I completed the director's instructions. Arrgh! I've been recycled! But what about Transomancer? Monsters always come come back when they fail in their first try. It will show up soon enough, Jet. And when it comes back, we'll be there to stop it. To be continued. Well done, everyone. This episode should make quite a splash to the community. Okay, I got some duct tape, Play-Doh, and some cotton, which could be good to, for building some materials and whatnot. Okay, look at some comments at Paul, or, at Paul Roy. I thought all the good and love on this episode was very ham-fisted. Whoa, I won't spoil it, but you should definitely watch the latest Chroma Squad episode. Hashtag Sentai going, hashtag Indie, hashtag Chroma Squad is the new show in town, etc. Wow, first time I've seen that fancy move. So cool! Okay, so I have 79 fans, I believe. Oh, wait. It says you gain three for each 100 per audience. Ah. Uh, it's and you gain 25 for it. Oh! Okay. I think we're making good progress so far. I do have 79 fa fans. Huh, <sighs> it feels good. Now let's see what the message, what new message I have. Enlarge your sword. Hello, hello. Would you be interested in buying a great upgrade for your sword? Some people might say this kind of thing is a scam, but who knows? The price is 130, but if you order it now, order it now, you can get a 10% discount. Are you interested? Uh, not right now. Okay, so I will continue on the next episode for Chroma Squad. This is Steve Money 107. I'd like to say thanks for watching and see you guys next time.